Hello, I'm Clint Jacobs. I'm from Wapalan First Station, Bikachanon. Um, I'm Anishinaabe, uh, and I am also a Wawashkash Dodan, which I'm Deer Clan. I'm a member of the First Nation here, and I work at Indawabjig, Wapalan Land uh, Heritage Center. We had the University of Windsor students um, here for the week, and um, they're participating in a number of different things to help um, add to their, their knowledge base. Got an opportunity to get on some water, got into a grassland, um, doing some wetland um, survey type things, uh, looking at invertebrates, learning about using a drone and using GPS, or using technology and using kind of science-based uh, approaches to, to learning. But we also try to make sure that folks are connecting um, through our ways of understanding and our perspectives. And that's first off by, by connecting to this place, um, respecting that using and acknowledging the spirits that are here it's not just about hard data and collecting information. It's about connecting to that space and time and place. Um, and hopefully they'll get a deeper appreciation and understanding where we're trying to go with this, not just for this summer, but for summers down the road. And the next generation that comes through are gonna be able to pick up the information that they've gathered and build on that. And so we're gonna be looking at this hopefully long-term. Bonjour, I'm uh, Catherine Fabria. I'm an assistant professor at the Great Lakes Institute for Environmental Research here at the University of Windsor. Um, I was invited to be a co-instructor in this inaugural traditional ecological knowledge course, and I was really excited at the opportunity to teach and learn about freshwater restoration, about community building, and weaving all of the different types of knowledge together, um, really rooted in the sense of place of the Kejuanong or Walpole Island. So I've been here doing biomonitoring, stream invertebrates in particular, um, hearing from elders and really trying to pay attention to what restoration looks like. Um, at the same time, try and teach students how we can be better listeners, how we can be better scientists, um, and just be better members of this community. Uh, my name is Nick Cull. I'm going into my third year of biology at the University of Windsor. Uh, I took this course um, for the obvious reason of wanting to get some hands-on experience. Uh, getting out in the field I think is super valuable. It's a different kind of knowledge than what you might learn in the classroom. Um, and when I saw it was so close to home, uh, really accessible, you know, just being able to drive up here in an hour and a half is definitely a bonus. On top of that, I think it's pretty important just being able to familiarize yourself with, you know, the ecosystem that you live in, uh, being so close to home versus, you know, maybe flying away might be cool, but doesn't offer the same kind of experience. My name is Caitlin Guyett. Um, I'm a fourth year biological science student. Um, I initially decided to take this course just because I saw it was outside in nature and um, I love just camping and I'm very passionate about wildlife. So I figured this might be a good opportunity to learn a bit more about those things. Um, and so far I have actually really enjoyed the nature aspect and uh, talking to the people of the islands, you can just tell that they have this profound respect for the nature and all of the species that are found here. And it's really interesting to get their perspectives on like how we should be treating all the different organisms that are on the earth and just our role really in uh, protecting it. Bonjour, Tori Day, Dejnakaz, Mimon Peace. I'm Bekejanong Dunjaba, Dodem. My name is Tori Day and I'm from Wapo Island First Nation here and my clan is Bear Clan. Um, I got involved in this uh, program, uh, Fields Methods course, I think for one, for collaboration, for partnership, and uh, between uh, two two cultures, of having understanding of who we who we are and what each other's cultures can bring forth. So I talked earlier on sweetgrass wingush. I talked about the significance of wingush with the uh, group. Uh, we called it um, in our language. We call it wingush as uh, Mother Earth's hair. Um, I think the reason I brought wingush up into our discussion was to bring unity amongst each other, which is why we braid it in three strands, sharing, love, and respect. And I thought that uh, I'd talk about sweetgrass to give us an idea of where our people come from and what kind of the struggles that we face with sweetgrass and where it is today. Because it is uh, becoming less and less, and that we have to do something about it as a people to respect it in a loving and a caring way. Uh, so if we don't, when are we going to put it on the endangered list, right? When are we going to say that it's threatened, it's endangered? Wapal Island or Pekejano is often referred to as our nation's medicine chest. So we're, we're blessed with so many different um, medicine plants and things that are here. 
Um, but they're in decline just like anywhere else. So we're looking at what we can do to conserve them and, and <clears throat> do our best to care for them. We got to witness a turtle nesting, laying eggs. And one of the projects that this, a couple of students did was to provide a shelter for those so nobody steps on those that, that spot where the turtles lay eggs. So these little projects are actually um, giving back. So we folks that participated are, are learning things, but you're also involved in, in giving back. And I'm, and I'm sure that, um, you know, that touch your heart and, and you can see the comments and stuff that, that come from the people that you shared with. I heard the younger people saying that they feel like family, you know, just that it was really bonded and they had some connections. So. That's one of the things that we, we, we love about this course is that it's not just your typical course where you're going to come in, learn and be graded or whatever and get a credit or maybe you're going to get some deeper enriching things that will affect your life. And hopefully 10, 50 years down the road that you'll remember this place for whatever it was, whether it was for pie or for the lady slippers. <laughs>